In this video, we will create a wheel mount that will be used as a sub-assembly in the chassis of our robot. First, start a new assembly. Click Browse and insert the wheel bracket. Since this is the first component, it is fixed relative to the assembly. Next, bring in the wheel assembly. Because the two holes of the bracket are not perfectly horizontal, we cannot use a concentric mate that will arrange the wheel accordingly. Therefore, we need to find another way of mating them. The bracket has a sketch with a line that connects the two centers of the bottom parts of the holes. Right-click on 3D Sketch 1 in the Feature Manager and select Show. From the Heads Up toolbar, click View and activate Temporary Axis. Make the line from the 3D sketch coincident with the center axis of the wheel and click Flip Mate if necessary to have the gear on the left side. Now the wheel can still move sideways, but we will define its position using spacers. Deactivate the temporary axis and click OK under Mate. Click Insert Components and pin down the menu. Insert the two bushings or spacers and add concentric relations with the inner circular surface of the wheel. Add two coincident relations between the faces of the spacers and the side faces of the wheel as follows. Make sure you place the longer spacer on the right, and don't forget to flip mates whenever necessary. Lastly, place a coincident relation between the outer face of the bigger spacer and the corner of the bend to fix the wheel in position. You can now go to the Feature Manager and hide the 3D sketch, then add the bolt to the assembly. Add a concentric mate between its outside circular face and the inner face of the spacer. Flip the mate if necessary. You can click and drag the bolt to make the mating process easier from now on. For the next mate, select the inner flat surface of the bolt and the outside corner of the bend. To fix it in position, you might think of using a coincident mate, but the bracket side is angled and that would create interference between the two parts. Instead, add a distance mate of 0.04 inches. To finish the assembly, insert the last part, which is the nut. Place a concentric relation between its circular face and the outer face of the bolt. Drag it towards the outside and select its inner flat face and the outside corner of the bend. Again, we will use a distance relation to avoid interference. Type 0.03 inches. Click OK and switch back to isometric view. This assembly is now complete. Save it as wheel mount to use it later.